Good morning, Aunt. Good morning. <laughs> we are bicycling today at the ancient historical park of Sukhothai. We're going to learn all about the old Thai kingdoms and why this is a ruin rather than a beautiful city today. And we're doing it by bike. So we are here in Sukhothai at our first stop and we are here at the king statue. This is king, and I'm gonna butcher this, Ramkamheng. Uh, I think that's correct, Ramkamheng. And he was one of the great kings of Sukhothai. So this is a little complicated, but Thailand in the past was a number of different kingdoms. So the Lanatai up in Chiang Mai were different than the kings in this part of Thailand. The kings in this part of Thailand established this capital, Sukhothai, uh, as part of their Thai kingdom. So here they established this city in the, the 13th century and it lasted for about 200 years, 215 years. And then they moved. They moved to Ayutthaya, which we'll visit on a different day. And then later they, they decided to move to the current location of Bangkok, and that's the Tonbury dynasty. So it kind of moves around a little bit, but by the time we get to the Tonbury dynasty, they united the northern Thais and created what we see as modern Thailand today. Complicated, I know. But just remember that these kings are very important, as, and as we learn about them, the Thai people even today look at the king as a father figure. As Aunt was just describing back in the past, uh, the king was basically like your dad. He would even be so kind as to settle disputes between friends. So that's a little bit about the history. It's complicated, but to sum it up, what we're going to see here is the legacy of eight kings for about 200 years in the Middle Ages. All right, let's go. concerned about when the Lord Buddha was born, enlightenment and pass away. It's the same day. Ooh, unbelievable. Second one. <laughs> second one. What else? Second one that is uh, like a con conference by Buddhist monk in that time. And a meeting. They just came. They, I don't know what happened, but they just came to see the Lord Buddha. 1,250 monks come to that area. No meeting. They just come. Like in the story, and the last one. I forgot now. So that's an important day. The day you stood up both. Yes, yeah, yeah. And now, <laughs> and now, three of that day will be three men of Buddhist holiday in Thailand, and good for local because public holiday too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with my friend Ant at the temple called C Soai. Temple, yes. Temple. And what we like about this one is it looks like Angkor Wat. So there is a lot of Cambodian influence, Khmer influence here in Sukhothai. And there's also uh, Hindu gods here because the Khmer were Hindu and later on also Buddhist. So a little bit of Angkor Wat here. You can come here and pretend that you've gone to Cambodia. This is a famous temple that has an enormous Buddha in it. The story is that apparently the king wanted to encourage his troops to be brave. So he had a soldier go behind and cheer them on. So they thought it was the voice of the Buddha. Bringing small squares of 
gold as a devotion. Friends, I am at a wonderful street food fair sort of thing. Am I meeting a green curry with wonderful noodles? And it is only one of many things you could eat here. This cost me 40 baht, which is about a dollar twenty, something like that. Behind me, you've got satay. You've got mystery patties that are kind of gray. I'm not sure. You've got fried. They call what they call TFC, Thai fried chicken over here. I'm telling you, if you're a food lover, Thailand should be your next destination because the food here is so good and it's so fresh and healthy. You'll leave feeling great, but you also will never run out of fun things to eat. So let's have a stroll. We can look at some of the fun things to eat here. I hope you're not hungry because your stomach's going to start growling. <laughs> Meatballs and sausage. Ooh, smoothies. You can get yourself a smoothie. Mango sticky rice. Dennis. Golden shrimp stick. Mm. I don't know if that's savory or sweet. It's hard to say. Oh, that's green mango with dip. That's really good. Don't know what that is. Pork rinds that are like candy, I think. Ten baht, that's 30 cents for each piece of sushi. So it's not a big street food market. It only takes place on uh, the weekends, Friday and Saturday here in Sukhothai. But really, Thailand is a feast. And it's so inexpensive, it's so fun. So put it on your list if you're a foodie. So here we are at another one of our beautiful hotels on the Thailand tour. This is our Sukhothai Hotel. That's the pool and then this is the massage hut where everybody got a massage today, Thai style. And then all of the rooms are arranged around a little pond. So it's sort of like a wandering river that r runs through the hotel complex. It's really comfy, cozy rooms really a lot of character. Beautiful garden. Yeah, you really feel like you might be in Hawaii here.